And ladies and gentlemen, uh, Velocity is finally over its week one hump. We are, the, the ball is fucking rolling. Season two, here we fucking go. Um, and as proper, your king has graced us peasants with his arrival. Sir, thank you for making yes, the time. Yes, thank you. The king is here. Uh, I do apologize for not being here week one, but, uh, you know, somebody challenges me, even in the middle of a bar, I gotta defend my king of the um, professional wrestling world right. uh, title, so just had to get a couple stitches in my head from the bottle going uh, over my head, but other than that, I'm good. Listen, the proper question to ask is, does the crown still fit the royal head? Oh, of course. Of, of course, course. Of, of course. course. Of course. It never fell off. It never fell off. No, 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 no. <laughs> um, shit. So, um, from what you remember from week one, um, how did your girl Zaya do? As per normal, Zaya Lee did phenomenal. Mm -hmm. I I knew I had made a good decision recruiting her into this season of Velocity, and trust me, people, my recruiting skills are legendary. Yeah, she beat Bianca in a nice fas fashion. Um, mm -hmm. Now Bianca has to see if she can beat the Bellas. Yes, she is take she's kicking off the show against Nikki Bella. Um, yes, and as everybody knows, you face one Bella, you're facing both of them. Basically. Oh yes, oh yeah. So especially since, especially back before Nikki Bella had that surgery. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, but I loved when they debuted, though, that twin mag magic switcheroo type shit. That was phenomenal that for its time. That was actually very unique and mm -hmm. something I honestly would have never thought of. Right. So, with Bianca going in this with a loss on her record, does she have more to prove than one might think? Well, you can't really think of it like that. Yes, she took a loss, but you got to also remember, Bianca is the strongest, the fastest. Oh, my Lord. She's not, she's not the best right now. That's Xia Li. But she is at the, the top of the women's division but, at this moment. But she is the EST of Velocity, brother. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. My. Yes, sir. <laughs> Shit. Ooh, nice. There you go. Nice right forearm. Oh, Nikki's taking care of it, though. Nikki still got it in the middle of the ring, although I'm uh, I'm afraid to see if her sister uh, is uh, is still ring rust. Listen, covered. listen, <laughs> listen. Bree can join us on the fucking announcer's table. Table. We have a of headset course. waiting for. Her. You got us. Of course, but um, I think Monday Night Raw, SmackDown, and all of them have proven. Three commentators is too much, so right. uh, Brock, you take your headset off and uh, give it to Bree over there. <laughs> you son of a bitch! Let, let the let the king entertain one of the princesses Ooh. of professional wrestling. God damn, brother, you're so smooth. <laughs> Ooh, nice chop! Uh, nice chop by Nikki. Ooh. Face buster right there. That actually used to be Nikki Bella's finisher right there before John Cena got his hands all over her. Oh. <laughs> God damn it. And y'all know exactly what I mean. Mm -hmm. Kids, uh, if, if you don't know what I mean, um, you'll learn in high school. <laughs> we don't we don't get paid enough for that shit. We don't get paid enough yeah, to tell. I don't, I don't get paid to tell you about the birds and the bees. Nope. Leave that to your parents. <laughs> um... So, with tonight being a very special night in Velocity, uh, the Euro Intercontinental belts are being uh, involved. So, before I get uh, the King's uh, input on it, what me and the King have done is we decided to bring back the uh, European title, but switch it up a little bit and make it the Euro Intercontinental title. And it's going to be defended every two weeks on Velocity uh, and only only I don't want to say foreign superstars but superstars that are across the lake uh, are going to be ch ch challenging for the title and rumor has it um, Ripley is going to be taking on somebody and we have a returning male superstar 
ch- being the one to uh, challenge another su- superstar for the title. Yep, yep. And what I've got to say is I specifically uh, spoke up for this title mainly because if you guys know anything about wrestling history, Europe itself has so much wrestling history mm-hmm. in its blood, in its soil, and everything. Like, the fact that Europe doesn't have, like, a mainstream promotion like WWE, New Japan, it's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. The best wrestlers in the world come from right there in the homeland in Europe. Yep. And yet, and yet it's America, it's Japan, and all, and, like, they get the mainstream shows, but Europe, with the greatest talent in the world, and... I will fight you on that fact if you would disagree with me. They don't have their own show. Right. That is disrespectful to great men and women like William Regal. Yep. Yep. Uh, oh. And nice. like some of the ooh, nice work that. And there. like some of the European superstars we have on this roster and mm-hmm. some to come yes. onto this roster. Yes. Not huh. gonna name any names just yet, but. <laughs> Just uh, just don't get in his way when he gets choppy. Ooh, boy. <laughs> if Ooh. you don't get that, I'm sorry. I can't give you no more hints than that. <laughs> Maybe you'll see him on week four, the go-home week. Oh, absolutely. Two. Oh. Ooh, Bianca almost got her win back. Nikki, Nikki, Nikki needs to... <laughs> she, she barely got that shoulder up. Uh-oh. She's going high. Uh-oh. Bianca, huh. the flyest oh. woman, ooh, with a 450 splash. I think she struggled to get the pin on that one. One, two, two three, and Bianca Belair with, gets her win back after last week's loss to Zia Lee. Damn. And surprisingly enough, Brie Bell did not really get involved in the match. She didn't even hop up on the ropes. Uh-oh. Oh, wait a minute. Uh-oh. Bianca, leave. Bianca, leave. Oh, my. Bianca, what are you doing? That loss got to her head. Oh, no. Well, I mean, when you call yourself the EST of professional oh. wrestling or EST of velocity, in, as you would put it, mm-hmm. a loss does do something to you. Yeah. So here it is, the first official European title. Rhea Ripley Ooh, is taking on Layla. Go. So Layla actually, um, sorry, let me go back to my notes. Uh, Layla actually took a loss last week in a triple threat match with even uh, Maria Kanellis. Uh, and Rhea is going into this match with a win against Tori, so... Uh, who's got more to lose? I mean, the title has not well, been assigned to anybody yet, so who has more to lose? You gotta think about it like this. Layla is already basically, like, she already has great wrestling history. Like, mm-hmm. she's a multi-time women's champion already. Mm-hmm. And you also gotta think, we literally just watched Bianca lose last week and then win this week. Yes. One loss does not mean shit if you get yourself back into that gym and start working again. Yep. But against Rhea Ripley, I'm not sure. Like, yes, like Layla is so far starting off good with a figure four there already on the bat. Ooh, I know how that feels, and that shit twists up your knee. Rumor has uh-oh, it. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Rumor has 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 it. You got the figure. You got the figure four done to you by one of the greats. If I'm not yes, mistaken. Yes, by Ric Flair himself okay. before he retired. And, okay. And um, let me tell you now, you don't know true pain unless you've gotten a figure four from the man, the myth, the legend himself, yes, Ric Flair. Woo. <laughs> Sorry, you can't say Ric Flair's name without doing woo. <laughs> Touche, Layla, Layla's brother. Layla might be taking yeah. this. She, oh, whatever happened to Bianca might be happening to Layla. I like it. I like it. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, nice. So, uh, so, uh, if Rhea Ripley loses, are you still gonna have her spit on your Yes! You? <laughs> Brother, you have to let her spit on your, f- spit in your mouth and call you were, were earthless, sir. Oh that's God. what you're supposed to, that's why we have her here, sir. Somebody get this beta male out of here. <laughs> get out of here. So, who you putting oh your money on? Oh, God. So, who you putting your money on? As a, uh, as honestly, a... Honestly, I think, I think Layla is doing wonderful right now like she is actually bringing the fight to Rhea Ripley who's actually much bigger than she is so yes. it's honestly a shock seeing it yes there you go yo turn your phone off man we don't need that thing vibrating it is show. it is <laughs> listen brother alright let a man fix his phone let a man fix his phone all right, listen, boys. Listen, ladies and gentlemen. Listen, Velocity still has its <laughs> kinks to work out. Listen, ladies and gentlemen. But yes, it's fixed. Freaking phone vibrating in the middle of the damn show. I know your wife wants to talk, but tell her you're at work. You're listen, bro- that chatter. Listen, brother. It's Rhea. She's she has her phone in her pocket. She's butt dialing me, brother. I'm sorry. The uh-huh, phone. It blew yeah, up. butt dialing you as Layla is putting her on. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Damn, but no, Layla hasn't wrestled in like what, like five, six, seven, eight years or whatever, and she's looking fucking not strong. Not in any, not in any mainstream promotions no. anyway. No. Oh, and Rhea, Rhea with her strong, stronger figure and everything's finally taken over. But Layla being quicker allows it to allows her to be able to dodge the bigger and heavier attacks of Rhea Ripley. Yes. There you go. Toss her back. Come on, be our first champion. Get up here. Yeah, and we still have to, we have to, at at our first pay-per-views, it'll be nothing but title matches. So, so please keep an eye out for that. We have yet to get a champion. So, hopefully this, this, this entire month, we can get some challengers for some titles. Nice. Snap suplex, beautiful. There you go, work in the head. There you go. Rhea Ripley showing her dominance right now at that snap suplex she had. Now she's going out to that neck. Nice reversal, nice reversal. But Layla with a sharp elbow to the face right there. Elbows are fucking sharp, bro. Like you like you like you know (laughs) first first fucking hand that elbows are very sharp. Uh oh. No! Oh, Oh Layla! 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 One! Two! two. We almost had a new champion! Oh my lord, I thought that was it. we're getting a new champion either way, but still. Right. I mean, I believe in our eyes, Rhea's Rhea's the champion. In our eyes, I believe she is the champion. So, if Layla wins, then we're getting a new champion. I mean, uh, in my eyes, the title's held by Vacant, ah. the greatest wrestling champion in all, <laughs> of all time. So. Number of it. <laughs> nice. Oh, Layla could. Uh oh. Layla. Uh oh. Layla could. Come on, Rhea, show Rhea your Rhea Ripley with the pure strength. There you go. Oh. Taking a, taking a page out of Bobby Lashley's book right there. Oh yeah. One. Two. One. Two, Layla is showing her resilience by kicking out. Ooh. Oh, Rhea's calling for Uh-oh. it. Uh-oh. Yep. yep. Uh-oh. Yep, here it is. Layla. Here Layla. it is. What? Yes. And here we go. Oh, my Lord. One, Can we get it? One, two, two three. three. And Rhea Ripley is your new European women's champion. Nice. Beautiful. Oh, that was a beautiful back and forth match right I there. Loved but it. Rhea Ripley's power was just too much for Layla to hand. Oh no! Oh. Ripley, you just took the title. Come on now, there is no need for this. <laughs> oh, there it is. Yes, yes. Sure, who sure it is. There is no need for this. Show Rhea, who... you just won the title. Get the hell out of here. She's showing whose fucking yard it is, sir. It's Rhea's she yard. She already did that by just freaking winning the match. Listen, as a cutthroat man yourself, 
How how do you not appreciate as you being a champion of champions, a king of kings? If I just win a championship, uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna freaking stomp on somebody a- afterwards. Like if I if I just became the first ever champion in the in this brand's history, mm-hmm. I'm not gonna stomp on somebody. I'm gonna sweep them out of the ring and make sure I get the ring to myself. But I'm not gonna freaking attack them. Anyway, as now unless they're now unless they're Daniel Pewter, <laughs> you son of a bitch. So or this fucking idiot right here, Simon Dean. Uh, so so Simon Dean found a loophole. We all know the oh. man is true grew American, but he's been living in Europe for, for for the past ten years. So he calls himself a native. So I swear to God, if he wins this, uh, if he wins this match, I swear on everything. Simon Dean versus Wade Barrett for the European title. Yeah, a true European versus a fake ass American. <laughs> well, hey, maybe. Also, whoever wins this, you know, might be. We're not gonna name names, but they might go up against the man that you're saying. So, I mean, what if it's mm-hmm. Simon Dean? What if it's Simon Dean that goes up against him? If it's Simon Dean, first off, Wade Barrett. If you lose to Simon Dean, you need to fucking retire. <laughs> well, the rules of the European belt is that you don't have a spot on the roster until you win the title. So, um, yeah, like, for instance, uh, si- 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 Simon and Wade, Wade, whoever wins stays on the roster. Please, Wade, get rid of Simon. <laughs> oh. This dude, I thought Daniel Pewter was bad. This dude is a mockery of professional wrestling. I mean, he's dominating Wade right now. Yeah, that's because Wade Barrett's just waiting to freaking connect with his freaking elbow just oh. to knock him the hell out. Oh, big over the top rope. Or do that, Jesus, Jesus Wade Christ. Barrett. Jesus Christ. And just to let you guys know, Wade Barrett has not been in a ring for a couple years now. He's mm-hmm. been on commentary for all sorts of different promotions. He has not stepped foot in the ring for a couple years until now. So how does it He's feel? He's also starred in a couple different movies too. So how does 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 it feel to see him grace us inside the Honest, ring? Honestly, Simon Dean, I'm afraid I've got some bad news. Oh my lord! <laughs> oh, oh, we're at seven. We're at the seven. The baddest Britain in all of Europe is about to beat your ass. Oh. Eight. Okay, good. Okay, good. Okay, good. There you go in the corner, Wade. Come on, Wade. Oh, Avalanche, what do we got? What do we got? Uh-oh. What do we got? Suplex? Yeah. Oh, we got Superplex right here. Yeah. Nice. Ooh. My back still tingles every time I see <laughs> one of them. Uh. Oh, Wade, there you go. Jesus, ground him pound. That's what you gotta do. But... Everybody forgets Wade Barrett is a bare knuckle fighter. He does not take he does not freaking go easy on you. He will beat the living hell out of you until you are out. Mm-hmm. Well, hopefully he... I should know. <laughs> hopefully he can take the uh, European belt away from Simon Dean. I mean the grasps of Simon Dean. I was about to say, if Simon Dean even touches that fucking title, I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving the commentary table. I'm fucking getting in that ring, and I'm knocking him out myself. I feel like we need to get a, a tag of Simon Dean and Pewter. I feel like that would be a great tag team. And for you to see them every you, single week. You put them in a tag team together, I will not come to that show. <laughs> I will tell you to fuck yourself. <laughs> Uh-oh. Simon Dean! Oh no! Back body drop! Oh my god! Here we go! Damn, Simon Dean. He didn't, he didn't come 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 to place her. He came for that title belt. Oh <laughs> And of course he's going for the eye. Season one we embarrassed the king with pewter. Season two, we're embarrassing him with with uh, Simon Dean. No, you're not embarrassing me. You're <laughs> pissing me off. <laughs> sir, sir, do you see that cup right on your side of the 
side of the table. That is your juice, your king's juice, your your adult juice. You need to drink it and feel better. I've been drinking. <laughs> Simon Dean is still there. He is, brother. That that is not hallucination. <laughs> Nice. Are you sure? Are you sure if I don't keep drinking, he'll just disappear? Uh, there's only one man that can do that, and I think he oh. just did it. One. Two. two. Oh. Oh, King, did did you curse Wade Bear? Oh, nope. Shit. Nope, nope, Shit. nope. Shit. <laughs> Here it comes. Yeah. Boom. Jesus. The bull hammer. One. Two, three. three. And the true <laughs> European wins the Euro Intercontinental Championship. Get that piece of shit out of my ring. So. Oh. Could this be. Wade. Show respect. Don't do it, Wade. Just Wade. punch him. Oh, he shows respect. The, uh... the man. So, the only champions we have are Rhea Ripley. And Wade Bear, how proud are you of Velocity right now? Honestly, I'm very proud. Ooh, nice. I'm very proud right now. Wade Barrett absolutely earned that championship by beating the living shit out of that fake ass uh, Simon Dean, so, who I who I'm glad we'll never fucking see on this show ever again. So now that Rhea we... Ripley did amazing yep. As, yep. as usual against. Layla, who showed she still got it in yep. the ring. Yep. So, as my dude Johnny Gargano. Is so up before next. we continue, before we continue, so now that we have a def def a, a definite champion in Wade Barrett, I would like you to announce who his challenger will be on the go home week for the Euro title. Are you sure we still Yes, sir. Now? Yes, sir. And I want your input on who's going to win. Oh, the biggest man in European professional wrestling right now from Austria. Mm hmm. Volta. Oh, what? <laughs> who, who, who are you putting your money on? Oh, well, I'm sorry, Wade Barrett. I love you, buddy, <laughs> but Walter is going to light up your chest. Oh, love it. So. With that being said, guys, please leave a comment who you think is going to win between Walter and Wade Barrett. But And it's not only going to be like that. It's going to – Walter is going to be the first WWE champion mm. to hold another company's belt all at the same time. You are here. You are going to see the most dominant force in all of European wrestling right here. Think – Andre the Giant before WWF got his hands on him. Ooh. This man, he he is, if I remember correctly, six foot four, over three hundred pounds, and he may not be he may not look like muscle, but trust me, dude, those hands are going to light up your fucking chest. If you don't believe me, just ask dragon off mm -hmm. just ask freaking a kid ask anybody in nxt uk who has taken a chop and let them tell you how much that shit hurts mm -hmm. but yeah so that'll be in two weeks guys please check that out um but as of right now johnny gargano and candace LeRae. Are, uh, oh, Candace is looking beautiful as always. They are uh, actually they are your dra dra drafted going going against mine, which is Elias. What yes. do you think of this matchup on paper and seeing it in person? See, this match is even better now because we don't have that old ass seventy some model year old motherfucker um, telling them what to do in the ring mm -hmm. we give them free range free range of any move they've used in their professional wrestling yep. career and this match is going to be better than anything they've done in mm -hmm. the past mm -hmm. but Kenneth LeRae brother you did a nice nice pick on that one 
Oh, absolutely. Candice LeRae is one of those women that I consider her a generational talent, much like Sasha Banks, Becky Lynch, uh, Charlotte Flair, Mm -hmm. and Bayley are. Candice LeRae is a generational talent that does not come around too often. Right, right. She is one of them people... Think about Edge, how he can go from bad guy, good guy, bad guy, good guy. Candice LeRae is the exact same right now. In NXT, she was known as the girl next door, the one that every guy wanted, the the one that every... uh, The one that every girl wanted to be and yep. she was tough as shit in the freaking ring and now she's one of the biggest badasses in professional wrestling right now yeah and she has yet to make her debut by the way so um yeah so what are you thinking so far about elias versus uh johnny well elias is uh definitely taking advantage of the fact that gargano is 200 pounds and uh, like a cruiserweight and everything yep. right now. Yep. He's definitely taking advantage of the power uh, game right here. But as soon as Gargano could get a... Oh, this might be Gargano's break right here. Yes, with a beautiful Hurricane Rana. But Gargano has taken a lot of damage already, so is that going to help? Oh, nice cutter. Ooh. Nice cutter. Beautiful. Took a little page out of, uh, out of Randy Orton's book right there. Yes, sir. <laughs> Oh, this could be it. This could Uh-oh, be it. Gargano. One. Ooh, no. Ooh. Oh. Gargano's got to do more work. Elias is a bigger, more built man. He's got to put that damage in. He is huge, though. Like, the man's not small. Oh, hell no. And Gargano is not a small man himself. He's exactly. He's actually slightly bigger than the average man. But he's only about 200 pounds which means there's not much power going into those into those attacks unless he's stomping on your chest like he just did there jesus christ they both were thinking rolling forearm smash elias Mm -hmm. did it a little too soon but gargano nailed it oh Oh, yeah and here we go nice Ooh, Jesus. beautiful move by Gargano. Jesus, I will take a sip of whiskey for that one. That was beautiful. There you go, brother. Go ahead. That was beautiful. So, with with the idea that me and you had for um, Velocity Ooh. being the show that gives C-listers that needed a giant push, what are the chances of Elias being our world champion? Uh, if he keeps putting on matches like this... Very, very good chance right here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Gargano. Oh Jesus! But then again, Johnny. I thought he was about to go for a snake eyes, but he just freaking dropped him there. Jesus. But then again, Johnny could be Johnny our world champion. Johnny has been a world champion in almost every company he's been in. Mm. So he is. What was it? Two-time world champion in NXT. I'm just gonna list off our world title division and i want to get your oh yo put yep. that paper down for here, a it here it is here Uh-oh. it is here it is oh my god oh, my back actually hurts from seeing that and i think i've seen elias's leg clip the freaking barricade yep. so our 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 men's world division is elias johnny jtg ricochet jinder mahal and rob van dam Oh yes, Rob Van Dam. Yep. Yo, he's got to be world champion this season. I'm, I'm calling that right now. He has got to be world champion this season. I mean, with with, with that jam packed of talent that should have been a world champion, who are you thinking is going to be our first? Um, ooh, putting them all in the ring. I think it would go down to either Ricochet. RVD or Gargano, honestly. Ooh. See, I want Jinder to wrap it at least once before the halfway point. That would be amazing. Yes. See, I'm sorry, Jinder. He hasn't been. He hasn't been as dominant as he used to be. One, two, Ooh. and Gargano Ooh. kicks out with his resiliency right there. Damn. Oh, there you Uh-oh. go. Back Elias, he yeah. grabbed him first. It's time for us to walk, brother. 
It's time for us to walk with who? Elias. It's time. To the back. Now, as king, if Elias won our world title and then asked you to walk with him, would the king walk with Elias? Oh. He would be walking with me. Oh, shit. Ooh, Elias with his first victory on the show. Damn. All right. Well, guys, with that being said, me and the king will let Elias celebrate. Uh, so before we end here, what did you think about week two? I think week two, we're, sh we're showing people right now that we can compete with AEW. Yep. We we're clearly going to overlap SmackDown being the third rate show. Okay. And that, um, I... I don't remember what that fourth show was called. What was Pitts, it called? Pitts Pro. Oh, yeah, the armpit of the oh, of your my channel Lord. right there. All yeah. right, guys, with <laughs> that being said, me and Dylan. Have a good night, everybody. Yes, thank you for tuning in for the black and green brand, and we'll see you next Wednesday with Velocity. Woo!